Hello, my friends. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video. Whew, and I, I'm excited. We are going to have a little chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, let me fix my necklace here. It's a little out of sorts. I have been loving these products that I have in this basket right here. And I've been doing my makeup a little bit different. So I thought we could have a little chat about makeup, a little chat about manifesting because I had a big epiphany. And let's just like dive into it. This is my cup. I got this last year at Target. It's this plant person in there. It's very cute. I am in full plant mama like mode. It is finally warming up here in Jersey. The sun is out. Spring, it's like my favorite time of the year. Last night was a new moon. I sat outside. I planted my um, some flowers, some seeds, and I did that in the ground and also with my thoughts. So we'll see. We'll see how this season goes. Mm. Okay. I need my little headband. I need my headband. Um, these I also got, I think, just like at TJ Maxx or something. I will link all the products that I'm loving below. Look, I've been outside. My freckles are out. It's that time, guys. It's that time. Um, this is very natural makeup, but with a little bit of a twist. So I have fallen back in love with the NYX Plump Right Back with electrolytes. This is a plumping serum with and a primer. So I take like just one pump like this and we'll put that on. I have actually a mirror right here, which I'm super excited about because I usually look into the viewfinder and that probably looks a little weird. So I'm going to make sure everything is even. So if you see me looking this way, I'm just looking in the mirror, but I will make sure to give you the full, <laughs> full front view. <laughs> what girl? All right, so this primer, I'm not a big fan of like the sticky primers, but this does have a little bit of a grip to it, but not too much, which is perfect for what, for like summer months if you want your makeup to stay, but you don't like that. I mean, it is really sticky, but I don't know, it's not too much like the e.l.f. one. Um, so I appreciate that. A product that I have fallen back in love with, I've bought this product a million times, probably like six times. It's the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Now, this guy I use in the color 1, 01, so the light color, but a little ASMR ready. Ooh. Um, I take a lot of it. So this is like a primer meets uh, a tinted moisturizer, has a little bit of a glow to it, and it's kind of like the e.l.f. product, the halo filter, but it has a little bit more coverage to it. And I just, I kind of like this better. I think it's just a better product. Both are great. Both are great, but I just, I, I can't get enough of this one, especially in the summer. And this covers my redness, which I just have such a problem with. Like, I just don't like my redness at all around my nose, around my, like, my cheek areas. Anyway, of course, my dog Ella's drinking some water right as we decided to press play. Of course, um, my poor girl Ella, she is having some health problems and we are in a detox mode right now with her. She tends to eat things she shouldn't and we think that's really the problem, but she has high liver enzymes and like like really high liver enzymes. But when we took her to the vet to get this checked out, because she was being weird, we realized she ate something she shouldn't, which will cause her liver enzymes to go up, liver enzymes to go up. So we have her on a nice detox and between now and when she goes back, we'll see if there is more going on or if it was just her eating habits. 
My puppy also, well, she's not a puppy, she's six, but she, or seven, six or seven, she enjoys to, uh, she enjoys eating some disgusting things outside, so I have to be really careful with what she decides to eat. Um, she does drink a lot of water, but not in like a, oh my God, there's something wrong with this dog way. Like she'll go a whole day without drinking water and then drink a ton of water at night or not drink water at all. And then in the morning have a bunch of water like she just did, but it's not like a continuous thirst, which would be a sign that something really is wrong. But anyway, let's not talk about that. She's fine. We're detoxing her. We have her on a pretty much all organic diet and watching her habits outside this jumping right back into the makeup if you have any if you have had this problem with the dog and you have any solutions let me know below um i'm obsessed with this this is the baby got bronze from essence this bronzer oh my god it is so easy to use it is perfect for my skin tone it blends so easily and i am gonna go in oh my gosh i forgot the brush that i needed that's okay we'll use our fingers but I am gonna go in and I've been contouring my nose, which I never really do because I don't, I mean, my nose is pretty, it's pretty straight. It's not big, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but I'm just obsessed with doing this with that bronzer and just adding a little extra shape to my face. And I just think it makes such a nice difference in my makeup but that brush I mean not I'm sorry that bronzer it blends so nicely now I'm gonna jump into a product I wasn't sure about that I liked at first but now I like it it's the NYX butter melt bronzer I got the lightest shade this is in buttercup light neutral it smells delicious <laughs> smells nice I take a nice fluffy brush. It is very powdery. Just be careful if you try this. And it's very pigmented. But I just go over it lightly, that bronzer, and just kind of set it. And this color, for some reason, just really works on my skin. I feel like I'm, I'm starting to find the products that really go with my skin tone. So... We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to take a little down the neck area here. I am going to have a sweater on when I go to work in a little bit, so not all that concerned, but it, it's actually really perfect for dragging down the neck and making sure everything matches. All right. We are glowy. We are fresh looking. Perfect. Um... Loving this concealer from NYX. It's the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. This is such a classic concealer. And I just take my concealer a little bit lower now and just kind of blend like up. I don't love it directly under my eyes because I feel like it just sits there and it creases. So I like to kind of start the brightness here and then I'll blend it up just to disperse the product. And it just looks so much nicer that way on me. Um, if you hear crazy birds, we have quite the <laughs> bird collection, if you would, outside right now. We have some nests in our trees. I love, I love that, so I don't really bother them. Um, I think there's one right outside my window here we have this like overhang on our deck outside and i think there's some birds nest like in it so let's see we have power washers coming next week so i'm hoping they get they get their birdies out before then or i'll tell them i'm a big bird person this is a new thing i think it's just what happens when you get older um, so yeah, I'm really into birds. I'm really into feeding the birds and it's kind of ridiculous, but here we are. Um, okay. Do you see how I did that? Like it looks so much nicer when you put the concealer here and blend up. It, it's so much nicer. I'm going to go in with this blush that I've been loving. It's very Amore from 
Milani. It looks like this. It has a little gold, a little like purpley, like a little darker. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I used for that bronzer and we're just gonna apply that on top. I do try and focus this on like this area and then I drag it down a little on my cheekbones but it's looking really good. Now I'm gonna do something extra crazy, which it's just a step that I like to do these days. So I take my concealer and I really want to like chisel my face. So I've been trying to really, I've noticed if I eat anything like salty, if I eat anything almost like carby, glutinous, I immediately get a puffy face. It is how I know that I have a reaction going on in my body and I've been really trying hard to be aware of that and use ice on my face in the morning. I have been drinking lemon water every morning to really flush things out, um, trying to go in the sauna and really detox mm. because I am trying to, in the next few months, to procreate with my husband. We have been on a journey so I really want to get my body into a place where I can be super healthy. So I'm not, well, I don't want to talk about that right now. So I want to talk about this makeup. I'm taking a concealer and I'm carving out right under where all that bronzer and that blush is. And I'm not using a lot. I'm just lightly going over it. And you've probably seen people do this before. I don't even know if people do this anymore, but I love doing this okay so we have this line here i take a fluffy brush and i start like blending it down just to start highlighting and carving out this area here and it looks a little crazy and it is a little crazy but we're gonna just carve this area and then blend in look at it's gonna get better Trust the process. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here. Same thing. We kind of just want to make sure we're keeping that line carved. Okay. And blend. Now I'm going to go with my sponge and I'm going to just try and just blend that in a little bit more. Ooh, baby. Yes, sculpted. And I do have a final step in this. You just wanna make sure it doesn't look ridiculous. <laughs> step one, don't look ridiculous. But do you see how it's like creating such a shadow and such a nice, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. So then I don't put anything else on this brush because I had the bronzer and I have the blush on this brush. And I'm just gonna go in really lightly and just kind of blend the two together just to kind of make sure it looks okay. And we're just gonna go in circles and just, oh yeah, there we go, that looks good. And I feel like that made such a difference. Maybe not to you, but to me, and I'm obsessed with that. Next up, we're gonna do brows. Um, I'm gonna do my brows looking this way, but talking to you. So I've been using this, my, I did shave a few weeks ago by accident. I cut a little bit of my brow here and I was bald for a second, but it grew back. So we're good, but I'm gonna brush out my brows, brush them up. And we're gonna really kind of fill them in a little bit darker than usual. So this is from e.l.f. It's their waterproof instant lift waterproof pencil. And it's kind of like a waxy formula. And yeah, I'm kind of gonna try new brow products, I think. I'm not super in love with this product, but it's okay. Ooh. Yeah, I just wanna make sure my brows are browing. And they're gonna look a little darker than usual, and I've been kind of into it. Um, yeah. 
So I had an epiphany. Oh, yeah, I was kind of press played to specifically talk about this. I had an epiphany that I am a master manifester. And I have manifested so many cool things without trying in my life. And I feel like I haven't appreciated that. And I haven't really... I didn't really give it much thought, and I think that's kind of the trick. There have been things in my life that have been incredible that out of nowhere happened because I would visualize things happening without realizing it. So kind of like daydreaming or kind of just like imagining, but like not realizing I'm manifesting while I did that. So I let it go, and I didn't obsess over things, and voila, those things happen to my life there's some things I won't talk about because some of the things weren't great that I manifested but I want to go over this topic another time in another video giving step-by-step ways to manifest but in the way that I would do it because I know there's a ton of videos out there people there's different ways to manifest but I have my own ways that have been that have worked so yeah, um, would you like to see that? Are you into manifesting? Do you believe in manifesting? I surely do. I just don't think it's as difficult or you don't need all these like rituals to make it happen. Um, I just gotta make sure my dog isn't eating crap outside, <laughs> literally. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Do you wanna hear more about my manifesting stories? Um, I could get deep. I could tell you about things, how it works and how it works for the good and how it could work not in your favor. Um, but you're doing all the work basically. So you have to just be careful. Um, what do you think? Oh, I just love this mascara. It's from Thrive Cosmetics. It's just one of the best ones out there. It's a tubing mascara. So it really like creates length and it's just, it's so good. And it stays on. It doesn't flake. It's easy to take off with warm water. It's just my favorite. My mom loves it too. We both love this mascara. She's looking her lips. Great. Okay, I'm kind of like feeling this like I was gonna do oh I was gonna do eyeshadow, but I can't because I don't have the brushes, but that's okay. All right, I feel good about this look. I'm glad to be back here. I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling super inspired to make videos, but whoo, here I am. I got my hair dyed a few weeks ago. I have to go get it again. I am really into growing my hair right now. I want it really long. Um, did you see that movie, The Idea of You with Anne Hathaway? And her hair, like for most of the, most of the movie is beautiful. And she's got bangs and her hair is like almost down to her butt. And it's so pretty. And that's like my dream. It's like my dream haircut to have like the bangs and super long hair, like Dakota Johnson, like that, that hair is just one day I will have it. Um, I will cause I'm growing my hair and she's like in her forties and she had, she was rocking it. So I feel like I could too. Um, that's all I got for you today. Um, very chaotic, crazy video. I hope you enjoyed this. There are links below to the products that I use today and that's, that's all. I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.